We are making crepes here in Pembroke this morning. Joining me now is Kate Higgison. She is the owner and chef here at Nook Crepery with her husband, Brendan. Uh, yeah, you're a pro. Mine's not going to look anything like that. <laughs> That's okay. How long have you been cooking for? Uh, how many years here or cooking in general? In general. Let's start with in general. Oh since I was a little girl with yeah. my mom yeah and grandmother mm -hmm. yeah always been cooking pretty much yeah and where did your love for crepes in particular come from um, eating them as a little girl in Quebec mm -hmm. uh, my grandmother is from Quebec lots of my family is and then I also used to live in France I have family and friends there and that's where my passion really started for crepes so mm -hmm. and how have the people of Pembroke embrace a crepe shop um, I think it's been a bit of a learning process for people but but they love it. I mean, we have a lot of francophones from the Quebec side who are familiar with the crepe, so they've been supportive and the community has been mm -hmm. wonderful, really, and they are kind of been happy to try something different, so. Well, and the ambiance within your shop is just so welcoming and inviting. So as soon as we walked in, it, it was lovely. Okay, okay, I'm gonna try and make you're gonna one, try? right? Okay, perfect. So what's the, what's the first thing I should do? Okay, so you're going to put your batter on. One full scoop? Yeah, or a little less, yep. Right in the center? Right in the center. Okay, and then this is called a crepe tea. Okay, and you're just going to start from slowly and you're gonna spin outwards. Yep. Oh no. Oh, it's coming. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. What it did looks I do like wrong? a heart. <laughs> it does kind of look like a heart. Yeah. Totally you intentional. Know, believe it or not, we could make that perfect. Really? Yeah. How are we gonna salvage it? Uh, gonna flip it over so if you just want to oh sorry go on nope we're just gonna go right here like along the edges here loosen up the edges loosen up the edges <laughs> and if you just want to flip it over okay. okay I think I watched you do it like this right yep exactly oh no I'm touching it <laughs> That's okay. Uh, how many different types of crepes do you make here at the shop? Oh, on our menu we have about 20, 22 or 23, mm -hmm. and then we do daily specials and, and... And what would you, what's your favorite special to make? Oh, I love La Jardine, which we're going to do today. It's a favorite. It has fresh asparagus and it really showcases fresh produce mm -hmm. and... Uh, Parmesan cheese and I can do it right now? Yeah, sure. Perfect. Okay, so Should this I is the crepe okay. and this is a little bit of garlic oil, okay? Just a touch. This is Parmesan cheese, okay? We're just gonna mm -hmm. put a little bit here mm -hmm. like this. That's nice. Okay. And then Got this some is this. some fresh roasted asparagus. Just gonna put it in the middle. Um, so? Okay. And what did you say the name of this one is? Uh, La Jardine. And it's named after my best friend who lives in France. And, and that's your best friend's name? Yes, her name is Jardine. <laughs> so I called it La Jardine. Uh, that's okay, that's okay. So this is how we fold it. And then I put a bit of Parmesan cheese on top mm -hmm. and that makes a, a crust. So I'm just gonna flip it over. Oh, to, to kind of like crisp up the cheese there. Yeah, exactly. Okay, and then how long does it usually cook for? a minute or so mm -hmm. yeah and then it gets topped with prosciutto which I have to get from you the fridge. You put prosciutto on it? Oh, yes. Oh man what a, what a nice breakfast yeah. for me. <laughs> yeah. Okay what are we making later in the show? We are going to make a crepe uh, we call it a fraise au chocolat blanc mm -hmm. and it has white lint chocolate, fresh strawberries and an amaretto reduction. <laughs> okay that so is. I've got a yummy morning ahead of me. Yes you do. Stay with us we've got more coming up on CTV Morning Live from Pembroke.